Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Bella Tube with your main woman Bella. In today's episode, I'm gonna be vlogging all day because right now I am in Seville in Spain. Right now we're headed out to basically explore the town. So come on, let's go. Sorry, I kind of look like I've literally just woken up. I've got a cut on my face because I went to the beach yesterday. I was in a little boogie board and I was boogieing along the waves and then all of a sudden this wave just came out of nowhere and was like Job done. And yeah, I just got crushed by the wave. Right now though, it is extremely hot. It's about 40 degrees. Okay, let me stop this right there. Hi guys, it's me from the future. I'm editing this video right now and I'm realising how much I complained about the weather in this video. So I created a little scoreboard at the bottom to really see how much I complained. And I think I can set a new world record here. Okay, anyway, back to the video. A few moments later. Right now we're gonna head to this massive church thingy and yeah, just see how it goes. I'm really not feeling this weather right now. I think we're planning to go all the way up there. I feel kind of bad for these horses because it's literally so hot and they're having to work. I always thought Spain would have the same kind of look as France does, but it actually looks completely different. It's really cool to see it because I've never been to Spain before or anything like that. But um, I think we're going to be doing the most touristy things today. tomb of Christopher Columbus. So they don't know whose bones are actually in this tomb, but they hoped and assumed that it was Christopher Columbus. It's it's a nice memorial. I think this church is a bit like Westminster Abbey in England, whereby it's very, very well known, very highly respected, and also it holds a lot of historical significance and artifacts. They do actually um, hold services here every Sunday. Oh, I feel really ill, I think really, really ill. It's he is giving me like a heat stroke. He just doesn't want to cooperate with me ever. So we just asked like if we could maybe go to the tower, but obviously I want my bike with me, which means I cannot walk that far. And it says it's not recommended for disabled people because they can't bring their wheelchairs or anything up there. So I had a little think about it and I was like, can I walk up? I mean, climb up a 24 story building. And I thought, no. So we have to abandon that idea. They got little baby cheeses. I told you, Jay. I called your secretary and told her to order you a box of baby cheeses. Modern family reference. We're just gonna head to a restaurant now. Let's get a cold drink and get some tapas. Because it is extremely hot and I am sweat like in a church. Quite literally, because we just went into a cathedral. I'm hot. I'm really hot. Not breathing this heat right now. So, we were outside, but I felt really unwell. So, we've got a table inside and it's air conditioned. After stepping out into the air, I feel like I'm in an oven. The heat, just, just no, just, just, just no. Um, Seriously hot. Right now we're heading to another tourist attraction, the castle for the royal family in Spain. Five minutes later. I feel like every tourist ever. Little update, I thought I was gonna pass out. So the guard basically took me to this kind of sit seat place in the shade. I really just want to go back to the B&B and sit in the aircon. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of the heat. Apparently, the palace is so big that in every ceiling is a different pattern. Here you've got white and gold. And then there, you've got blue and white. So I've decided to continue having a look around and then we'll go. We just walked. 
Yeah, so in the background, that's the cathedral that we were just at earlier today. And this is, um, I guess the exit. <laughs> I don't really know where we are. One hour later. So this is our b and now. I am so hot. Now we're back at the b and I'll give you a quick tour. This is my family friend's room. This is the bathroom. Really nice. Here's the kitchen, table, sofa, TV, balcony, but I'm not gonna go outside because it is so hot. If I step one inch outside, I'm gonna die. This is my bedroom, and then this is my parents' bedroom. And I think tonight we'll be going out more. Okay, I'm changing it to Netflix. Later that same evening. The time's like seven. No, like six something. And I've cooled down a bit, and now we're just heading out to see flamenco dancing, which is apparently down the street. That's our B and B there. Our balcony is right there. And literally, it's 50 yards from our house, and house is at the end of the street, so it's like right here. Honestly, that was probably one of the coolest things I have ever seen. The energy that the people had, the stage presence, the everything they had, it was just so fantastic. I think we're gonna head back inside to our B&B and then regroup and then probably go out for dinner or something. Look how cool this is. It's the balcony and we were actually just in that building there. Am I sunburned? Probably. Guys, you know by now, I'm probably sunburned, to be honest. If I go once into the sun, I'm like a sweaty potato. Right now, we're headed to dinner, because it's our final night in Spain. And yeah, let's go. this really nice restaurant in like it's literally in the middle of nowhere and I feel like if you didn't know it was here you wouldn't know it existed I'll, I'll probably just get that then we kind of ordered like a mixture of things and we're just gonna share it out ordered some mixed paella I've ordered some creamy oxtail and rice a few moments later this is called oxtail and rice really interested to see what it tastes like that's really good that was really, really good. The white We're gonna head back to the B&B apartment. It's really cool, the cathedral that we went to earlier is all lit up. Look, isn't that cool? So I am back at the B&B now. We've got the aircon blasting full volume, which is good, uh, cooling down a bit. After this, I'm gonna have to pack my stuff because we're leaving tomorrow. But yeah, that just brings this whole vlog to an end. Yeah, I'm really sorry. You just had to watch like five, 10 minutes of me just complaining about how hot I am. Well, that's just the British way. If you like this video, drop it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Yeah, I'm really tired and really ill. So stay tuned, stay happy people, and I'll see you on the next post. If you've still stuck around, I'm gonna count out how many complaints I made during this video. I made 19 complaints. But to be honest, it was a really, really hot day. So us British people are allowed to complain because we never get hot weather. And when we do, we complain about it. It's just embedded into our nature as British people. If you're interested, to the right is some of my other videos. And down below is my social media. So make sure you give it a follow. And I'll see you next time, guys.